Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kairos Time and it is time to brawl. Today we're going to be taking a look at getting El Primo to 500 while playing some brawl ball. Hope you guys enjoy it. Okay guys, here we go. We're going to go ahead and jump in here and I do have some really fantastic teammates here, Bob Marley and Mateus. Now, as El Primo, my goal is to try and create as many opportunities as I possibly can for our ball carrier to try to get in there. Um, where we do have an actual ball carrier, uh, namely Mortis, then I have to try and create as many opportunities as I possibly can for Mortis to actually be able to make his way over to the goal and be able to shoot it in there. Now, that means that situations like that every, every now and then, uh, yes, Yes, the Mortis will be able to take care of things himself. He'll be able to absolutely create those opportunities himself. So that's that's on him. But I've got to do my best as El Primo to try and make things happen um, when possible. Now, here we got a, a Frank right here. I tried to spam up that, that super to try and stop him from slamming down. Did was not able to do it in time. Now, Bob Marley had to throw down his uh, the ball back and then was able to use that super to stun them for a little bit and push them back. Uh, now, Mateus here is doing an excellent job at just kind of like holding back, knowing exactly when he needs to go in, when he needs to uh, fall back. And I'm just trying to get in there, deal some damage, kind of keep them pushed back, like I said, to create that opportunity. Mateus almost makes that in there. Bob Marley is able to slam down his his super and deal a ton of damage to LOL, getting rid of him, and now we have them pushed all the way back right here. As El Primo, I've got to be the one to try and take out these ball brawlers right here. I use my super right there. I accidentally super into the goal, which passes the ball to Huffy. So I've wasted my super, unfortunately, uh, trying to get it in there. And here we <laughs> we've got LOL doing his uh, coming in here with his super, and he is able to come and hit both of us. But Mar Bob Marley ha did have his super as well, which allowed us to uh, kind of survive that situation. It was really close right there. Now at this point, I know that I have to be really careful with uh, Terra's super, but she throws it down on Mateus. Mateus almost gets taken out, and I've got my super right here. And in that action right there, they were able to score, solidifying us a victory, guys. Okay, so now we've got another matchup here. We're going to be playing up against Nate the Great. Um, and then we also have a Matt and a Schwartzen. Uh, this is going to be an interesting match right here. Uh, so I'm doing my best to try and dodge those spike balls as much as I possibly can, push him back. And we almost create an opportunity right here, but Matt does come in there. Uh, with that spike super, I actually do get taken out. And Nate the Great jumps in, uh, and we're, we're doing the best that we can. Now, the Mateus actually switched from Mortis to Colt. And Colt is not a ball carrier. He's he's not typically. He's he's much more of a damage dealer, kind of like controls things, uh, breaks walls and things like that. But he is not a ball carrier. So here we go. I'm coming coming in right here. I have to be the primary ball carrier. Try to create some opportunities myself. Um, and unfortunately, I do get taken out. Nate the Great did an excellent job at uh, <laughs> at really coming in right there. He jumped. He kicked the ball forward and then jumped and landed on the ball and then was able to shoot it in. That's a really great move for El Primo uh, when you're playing this this brawl ball. Now at this point, I'm just trying to push them back uh, with spikes super up right there. Uh, I don't know that I really should have gone in up, up for that for that uh, kill right there, but it ended up happening. We well, did the best that we could with the situation, and now we have. We've, we're not in a, in a super hot sit spot right here. I'm, I'm thinking maybe I can just go in there. Honestly, I should not have gone so aggro right there. I should have grabbed the ball, fallen back, and waited for my teammates to create an opportunity for me to go in. Uh, and uh, that's uh, really unfortunate. That's one thing you do not need to, to know when you're playing El Primo. You can't just go in just just right down the middle and try to take people out. You've got to use those walls to, to do the best you can. Matt's doing an excellent job right here at dodging me. And there I... Nate kicks the ball to me when I'm planning on using that super to land on him. And that ended up wasting my super. I super kicked the ball to Nate, unfortunately. Uh, and so this is this is really unfortunate because we have pushed them all the way back up right here and to a really good situation. And here we go. Uh, because of the, those mistakes that were made, we did end up taking a loss right here. Now, I promise you guys when I'm doing these videos I'm not just I know they're edited but I'm not showing you just straight win we have to win I'm not cutting out losses or anything like that guys I am showing you guys my losses and my victories I know it seems like I'm I'm cutting them out because I'm just most of the time we win <laughs> but but no so here we go we got a good situation OG cannot deal enough damage to me to take me out so all I just have to do is just walk in right there and that's one perk to playing a primo in brawl ball is all you have to do is just walk it in if they are, ha are playing a brawler that doesn't uh, deal a ton of damage I gotta be really careful against this Shelly and this Daryl uh, because they do so much more damage and OG goes in right there and uh, I'm able to take him out with the help of Mateus mostly with Ma mostly Mateus did it and I helped him a little bit it's kind of what happened I'm gonna go hide behind 
behind this wall right here and see if I can to heal up a little bit. Mateus throws down an awesome super and takes out two of them, and it's my job to try and take out OG uh, because of my higher DPS right there. Bob Marley has too much of a, a delay right there. I tried to go in for the for the score, uh, didn't find that a great opportunity to uh, actually shoot it in, unfortunately. So they do take me out. And so at this point, I'm just trying to push back up here, trying to trying to make my way there. I do have my super right here, so I'm going to be waiting for a good opportunity to use my super. Coming in right here, going to go ahead and grab the ball right here, pass it to Mateus, and then I go in, jump in right there. Dylan tons of damage. Mateus throws in that super and gets rid of them, which allows me to score a goal. That's... That's the beauty of the teamwork here on Brawl Ball is you you just do your best to try and create opportunities to get in there and deal damage and uh, get that that ball in there. Here we go playing some more Mortis or playing uh, uh, Mateus actually switched to Terra. Uh, that, actually, that was a couple matches ago after we lost that one match against Nate the Great. Um, <clears throat> But here we go. Uh, now Niels is coming up behind me. I have more HP than he does, and he just comes full forward, and both of us have our supers up. Uh, now I'm trying to think, is there a way that I can use that right here? Mateus actually throws that in there, and I try to shoot it in, and I think that I got it. I think that I scored. I don't know who scored, but I think I did. <laughs> now I've got a super right here, so I'm just going to wait for uh, the right opportunity to use this super. Uh, now Spike actually throws down that blast right there. Unfortunately, wastes his super on unfortunate for him, and I'm just trying to go on, uh, go crazy on this El Primo. Now, I probably actually could have used my super sooner in that situation. The thing is, if you are El Primo and you're facing against El Primo or Tank or Frank, totally feel free. Oh, there's a top miss. It's so unfortunate. Now, if you're playing El Primo against another really big tank, like, that doesn't have, like, a shotgun, so we're talking Frank or El Primo, and you have your super up, you should not hesitate to use that if you can, because basically, once you use it, you land on them, you deal damage to them, and then on top of that, you are able to rebuild up your super really, really fast. So it's 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 almost not even a waste for you to use your super. You should just use it more frequently than not. Now there, I throw the ball back there so I can try to deal a little bit of damage to uh, uh, to Spike. Dealing damage, trying to keep take people out. I'm able to take uh, Spike out, and Bob Marley here is going to be able to take out El Primo. Now they just have that Terra, uh, and I'm respawned. We're going to be able to push back up here. Um, their Terra is able to take out ours, and so here... We have to play a little bit carefully right here, especially with him coming in with that super. He is not able to kick it far enough, though he was not close enough. You just had to push forward a little bit, especially with Frank being able to to use that uh, his uh, or that delay with Frank. Uh, but regardless, I'm going to go ahead and pass the ball back right there, try to deal a little bit of damage, uh, get in there on their El Primo, uh, and. <laughs> now with this Terra flashing her super, I was trying to go over towards the Terra to try and force her to use it, um, but unfortunately I did not attack the Terra, I was in instead went up against that El Primo. So now at this point things are really, really close. I stand up right there and I super kick it back to Niels. He goes back, <laughs> I waste my super, but my teammates were still in the right position and Niels is uh, healing up. Now we, got, now we have eight seconds for us to actually make another goal. We're pushing them back right here, doing the best we can, and we got a really good situation where Mateus goes in there with the super, uh, get, gets El Primo, and then I go in there, and somehow they don't die, but I do. But in the midst of it all, Bob Marley is able to make a really fantastic shot, which does go give us that victory, guys. Okay, now so far I've recognized the names of the people that we've played, but for this match I don't recognize these names, so I'm kind of assuming that they're they're probably not like top of the ladder or something like that. Usually that happens when I don't recognize somebody's name. Um, so here, I went to the left side to try and, you know, catch somebody off guard, but they all went over to the right side, so I couldn't really do anything. And now it is my job to take out that El Primo. He has too much HP, and my teammates have too little DPS to really deal with him, so that's why I decided to fall back and go in there. Um, that's one thing with El Primo. If you, with depending on your teammate, your team, you might be the one to actually go in and deal the damage. Now, here I've got my uh, regular attack. I, I don't know if I could have supered on, on into there, but it doesn't matter. We've got a solid situation there. I go ahead and give that spin really fast, and uh, <laughs> we cleared them up with a couple of supers, and that totally rocked their world, uh, which gave us a solid opportunity for us to go in there and score, which is which is awesome as El Primo. You gotta, you gotta take advantage of those awesome shots right there. Uh, now, Nate actually jumps in right there, does an awesome move himself, breaks those walls, kicks the ball to himself and throws that in right there so now it's actually pretty tense um because they they pulled us they pulled a fast one on right on the, us right there now bob marley is able to take out two players all by himself and that just opens things up for me to be able to just walk right in and super the ball holy cow that was intense guys that was intense so now we only have a few more matches until we reach that 500 mark guys and we're gonna go ahead and be facing off against nate the great matt and a schwarzen again these are the guys that beat us just a couple of matches ago so when when 
when I lose to a team, like half the time I go in and just be like, hey, let's go have some fun. But if I lose to a team and then we face up against them the second time, I'm always like, okay, it's time to really play at my A game, guys. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking right here. I'm using these walls the best that I possibly can to really open things up. And now that I've got that ball right there, um, they're not able to even stop me. I just have to walk that right in right there. That is what happens when you play those walls to your advantage against that El Primo and aim your shots around those corners. Uh, El Primo is one of those kinds of brawlers where most of the time, you know, you're probably just fine to use your regular attack. But aiming those shots when you're going around the corners first will allow you to deal more DPS. Otherwise, you just kind of angle it off and you actually will miss the brawler. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, fall back right there. I actually charge up my suit. Super, and there I use it to try to go in there and create an opportunity. Doesn't, doesn't really work out the way that I was hoping it would. Uh, Bob Marley, does he, is he able to shoot in there? He's not able to super that in there, unfortunately. But Mateus uh, does throw down that super and kind of saves the situation there. Now, the ball gets kicked back to me, uh, which tells me that they are wanting to try and like create more opportunity. Uh, now, Mateus comes in right here, throws down that super, opens things up, and I'm able to almost shoot it in there. Unfortunately, I miss it. Bob Marley does take out all of them, which allows me to super things in. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That is what I'm talking about when it comes to actually supporting your ball carrier. The ball carrier in that situation, I was carrying the ball. It was not me that created the opportunity. It was somebody else that created the opportunity that allowed me to go in. And for brawl ball, that is a huge thing that you have to realize. It is not about you always making the goal. It's about you creating opportunities for the right person to make a goal. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and jump in here. We're playing another match right here um, against a Mortis. Now, with the Mortis, I do have to be careful against that mortis i'm I, I because of that high dps you know if my if my teammates can't take him out in time then we're in a tricky spot so i do have to kind of stay on him bob marley throws things open and i pass it right to uh their mortis unfortunately that's okay though we're uh we're we're doing some we're applying some pressure uh taking him out mateus is able to pass that ball back to bob marley and bob marley is able to kick that in super fast goal right there guys super super fast right there now i'm gonna go ahead and go over to the side um see if i can't uh, take somebody out uh, we are able to take out spike i super in right there and bob marley actually supered in underneath me and was able to make a second goal holy cow that's one of the things that i love about brawl ball is how fast matches can actually go they're great at pushing you really quickly or tilting you really quickly depending on what's going on right here now mateus Mateus was like, okay, we're almost at 500. Let's let's put the cherry on top right here and and play Piper. And I'm like, okay, let's let's do it. Let's go for it. Um, and so he's playing Piper, and I'm like, ah, this is not a great situation. What do I do? There's a turret right there. I probably should have like hid in that bush a little bit longer. But then those enemy brawlers were gonna come around. So I don't know. We got Bull coming over here on on Mateus. There is nothing the Piper is able to do. So I try to help him out at least a little bit. And I slam against it. I'm able to actually take the ball, but instead of passing it to the corner, I actually throw it up against the wall and it bounces back in. Ah, epic fails. Epic, epic fails. So he's able to go in right there. I'm gonna try and take out that turret really fast. And we have to be careful here. Um, Jesse is, is doing a really good job at annoying me and I try to go in there. You can see me try to attack and actually kick that in there. Um, unfortunately, it did not happen though. Uh, Bull is coming down. He does take out Piper super quickly and then, oh no. And it all falls apart. <laughs> Mateus, why did you pick Piper? Ah, uh, one win away from it, and we fall down. So we have to play two more matches to actually win. And here we are. We're going to be facing against Lukey Bear and Kaner. And I recognize these guys as really great players. I don't actually know Nate17 um, too well. He's probably a good, great player as well. Um, I throw the ball back right there to try and deal a little bit of damage to El Primo. I am the first one to land my super, uh, which does give me that advantage. And here we go. I'm going to go ahead and kick that to Mateus. K Mateus goes in right there and waits for the perfect opportunity to pass it to Kaner. And Kaner accidentally walks in. <laughs> unfortunately for unfortunately for him but fortunately for us now i do uh not have my super up on uh, this el primo so he has his so i gotta be a little bit careful right here um he's flashing he does jump down there breaks that wall but bob marley is able to totally wreck them with his super stuns them and now we're just kind of like passing things back mateus passes it up to bob marley and he could super it in right here he's just waiting for the right opportunity and so i go in there to try and create it for him i use my super and so does um <laughs> 
Uh, so does Mateus. Now, Nate could actually go in and push it down and super it right in, but he does not. I'm not sure exactly why he may not have actually been able to make it. Maybe he wanted to wait or something. I don't know what he was doing. Um, he Maybe he wouldn't have, but either way, it's really unfortunate he does not actually uh, take that. And now we're able to... Uh, we're, I just realized we're facing against two Mortises here? <laughs> we're facing off against two Mortises. That is really funny. Okay, so I go in and uh, with that perfect dual comp super with Mateus uh, throwing that down there and me jumping on there, that's a... Uh, that's a solid victory right there. Too funny. Oftentimes, if you are in high end part of the ladder, people will actually go ahead and queue with other people at the same time, both playing uh, Mortis, for example, and because there just are so few people at the very top of the ladder actually queuing up at the same time, it, there are often times where uh, you can get duplicate brawlers right there. So I'm not sure if that's what they did, or it just randomly happened like that. They were just uh, pairing up with randoms, but really kind of funny how that ended up happening. Um, but for and for those of you guys who are curious on how why you'll see that in these competitive levels at the top of the ladder, that's that's why. Okay, so now uh, we're kind of in the middle of the match or middle of the map right here. Things are kind of pretty even. Uh, I've got the ball right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pass it back so that I can slam it down on El Primo, deal some damage to him as well as charge up my super again. That's right there in action, as you guys can see. And there we've we've taken them out. We've cleared it open, and Bob Marley's able to walk that and throw that in there. Uh, now we just have to get one more victory guys. We're just one goal away from a 500 El Primo A lot of people consider El Primo to be one of a, a harder brawler at the top of the ladder And so this is this is really exciting. I'm pretty stoked about here and I'm so excited that uh, I do get it taken out uh, But we're doing pretty good. We're in a good situation here And now all we have to do is kind of apply some pressure get close enough to where we can take them out Victor does throw that suit Terra super on us and I'm not sure how but somehow I outmatched that El Primo that had more HP than me and who also supered on me. It worked out though. I think I had some teammates or helping my teammates. I throw the ball over to Bob Marley so that I can get in on that spike and there we got that El Primo slamming down and with the help of my teammates we're able to take him out. I go in for a pat or a shot but I accidentally hit it off the wall <laughs> and uh, we got Terra Supers are flying all over the place. It's a really intense matchup right here. I'm trying to avoid those spike shots um, and we're able to get away and but unfortunately I do end up getting taken out. We were so close to getting that goal. Um, uh, and did not quite work out, but Terra, or Mateus is building up his super, uh, which allows us to, uh, which which puts me in at least a good confidence that we'll be in a solid situation, guys. Uh, now here I got, I got that super, I'm able to go in and take out that spike, and now I'm also taking out Victor, uh, that El Primo, and Mateus, awesome super right there, and uh, we're able to almost get things, Bar Bob Marley goes ahead and throws down the stun, and one more slam, and that takes her out, which means that we got my... El Primo, 2500, yes! Oh man, you can just, you know, El Gambero! That's right, guys. I don't even know what that means, but it means that I got I got my El Primo to 500, which is freaking awesome. <laughs> Before we end this video, I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors. If you would like to become one of them, there is more information in the description of this video. For now, guys, this is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.